you've all been lied to. You've been told that money talk is dirty talk. Well, buckle up, Valto, because if money talk is dirty talk, I'm gonna teach you how to talk dirty. Who's excited for the dirty talk? So before I go and say anything that'll get me kicked off stage at a Lutheran University, let me just tell you a little bit about who I am and who I am to be giving you this money talk. My name is Natalie Alicia Goldberg, and I am an award-winning attorney on both coasts. Been ranked as a super lawyer, and my area of expertise is nothing short of wills, trust, and estates, and business. Call me your money lawyer. So how did I become this money lawyer, and why am I here to tell you how to have this money talk? What's the money talk about? I didn't just, you know, walk into a life of, you're a lawyer, it's given to you, it's granted. As a child of immigrants, and a grandmother who did everything selflessly, to Terry's point. First is the kids, then the relationship, then yourself. And at 15 years old, Eric, who just spoke, spoke about, he was going 60 miles per hour and he had a deer. Well, in my story, I was the deer. Crossing the street, two guys found at the exact perfect timing to be drag racing their cars from light to light without regard for human life, blood, sweat, or tears. I think today, at 60 miles an hour as a pedestrian, getting hit by that car, and the doctor saying, I've never seen such catastrophic injuries, and it's a miracle you're alive. Our actions can so deeply affect our life. Thank goodness that that day I was saved so that I could be the wife of Sam and the mother to Ariella and Brielle and a mom and mentor to all who hear this message. Because does anyone care about money? Anyone want to make money in this world? Okay, very good. You guys should all have your hands up. You're going to a very expensive university. You want to get a return on that investment, okay? So, I've spoken multiple times on many different television shows as a TV legal expert. I've written numerous articles, written a few books, and have helped thousands of lives protect and preserve what matters most. So here's what I've learned from my very wealthy clients that I want to give to you because we all want to be more wealthy, prosperous, and abundant so that we can live a blissful life. Does everyone want that? Can we all agree we want to live in bliss? Okay. Here is the equation for bliss. You take two different things, money and how to make it. That's what I learned in my career. I graduated from college in two years, did law school in two and a half, debt-free, full scholarship, figured out the code, cracked the code, okay? Started my own law firm, 24 years old, Park Avenue, Manhattan. Built up a practice, have been on these shows, have written the stuff, have, have done all the things. And my worth as a human being was tied in 100% with my net worth. How much I was worth was completely dollars and cents. And that happens to a lot of people. We lose balance, right? So money is one half of the equation for bliss, but what's the other half? What's the other half, friends? L-O-V-E. It's about the love. Because without the love balancing the money, what is it all for? So you made a lot of money, you got old and you died, okay but it's about the impact and what you've done through that money and through the love, right? So lucky me, I picked a profession where I get to talk about death, dying, who you love more, and what you have. No wonder 64% of Americans die without a will because they'd rather go to the dentist. 
And by the way, Aziz, who was just on this stage, is going to be a dentist, and that's definitely the guy I'm going to. <laughs> so, so with that, I wanted to teach you about the five things that make up the wealth equation. Five. My older daughter, Ariella, is four. And to anyone who will listen, she says to them, my name is Ariella, and on my next birthday, I'll be five. A whole hand. Okay? So we're going to go the whole hand bliss. Business, legal, investments and insurance, strategy, succession, and stewardship. The path to a prosperous life is really that simple. This is what the wealthy have known for generations. It's why the Rockefellers say, Contr own nothing, control everything. It's why the wealthy live in trust because they have cracked the code. And guess what? They're not born brilliant. They just have better advisors. And now you get the best on this Valpo stage teaching you exactly how to make your life a masterpiece, okay? Business, what do we mean? What do you do? What are you doing day in and day out to make money? Money is the reality of our world. We live in a society where the exchange between human and human is based on dollars and cents. We can fight it or we can understand the rules of the game and play them well, okay? You can either earn the money, you can marry into it, you can inherit it, God bless you, you can win the lottery, but you gotta figure out how to make that be, that business work for you. Okay, and if you want to know the best way to make the most in that being, ask yourself these two very simple questions. I got a billion dollars. You all got a billion dollars. Aren't you happy you came to this TED Talk? You're billionaires now. You're welcome. And through that billion dollars, you can't blow it. You have to ask yourself and answer these two questions. Number one, what am I going to do with my time? And number two, what problem am I going to fix on this earth? That's your purpose, my friends. Second, legal. I am a lawyer, okay? So I'm gonna get a little bit legal on you. Once you make more money in your B, believe you me, you will need the law. Because the law is the language of money. And if you don't believe me, Ask Elon Musk. We all understand the legal stuff he's going through. One of the world's, if not the world's richest man. Here is the deal about the law. It allows us to live our life by design instead of default. That's an important one. Let's highlight it for those taking notes. Design, not default. Legislators have given you a default. The general man, woman, child. This is the law that applies to them. Are you willing to live your life in default? Or are you going to design a life that works for you? And that is through a contractual agreement. The law is a way for us to represent money conversations in writing so that we remember them later, and so that we can thrive in whatever we're doing. Employer-employee, uh, operating agreement, partnership agreement, prenuptial agreement, living trust agreement, and agreement. Investments and insurance. For all you college kids who are on TikTok all the time and listening to the so-called gurus, why are they constantly talking about investments? because Albert Einstein said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. And you want the money you earn in your B category to have soldiers marching and working on its behalf when you sleep. Otherwise, you're gonna work until you die. And I think all of your lives are too precious to just work, don't you? So we have to make our investments. Now, what kind of investment? Is it real estate? Is it stock market? Is it art? It, it doesn't matter. You pick something you like that you have access to. 
If you have 10 bucks, sorry, you can't buy a piece of real estate for that. But you might start in the stock market. Now, as you get more and more in your investments, you can allocate and get more access to capital. It's about opportunity. Next, insurance. Nobody ever thought insurance was sexy. But believe you me, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. It's an absolute must, and 90% of the clients I've worked with come in underinsured. In fact, my own story of my catastrophic car accident was with a motorist who was underinsured. Strategy. My dear friends, all of you have an Apple, an iPhone, an Android, whatever device. You open it up, and you put in Google Maps. What do you have to put into the Google Maps? What do you put in? A destination, the address. Now, in our lives, we have no clue where we're going. Oh, I'm just going to walk down the street and something will happen. Yeah, you, you guys see how well that turned out for me? No, no, no. We're not walking down the street, leaving it up to chance. We are figuring out what is our strategy to get there? What is our end address? And you know how you're going to do it? You're going to close your eyes and you're going to think about what is my ideal day? My day. One day. Where am I waking up? Who am I surrounded by? What am I doing? What am I drinking? Where am I living? Now you have a very clear picture. All you got to do is do the steps backwards to get there. But now that you have that picture, it's so much clearer, it's so much easier to get. Because by the way, friends, there's unlimited abundance in this world. You can have as much as you want. You just got to figure out what that is. And lastly, I hit you with a double whammy for the end, succession and stewardship. The wealthiest clients who I've worked with obsess about being successful, which is inextricably linked with succession. When they come and they start a new business, they're thinking exit plan. When they're having breakfast with their kids, they're talking assets, liabilities. What do we have? How is it going to work? Do not be fooled. And these people who say, I can't have a will. That means I'm going to die. Darling, we're all going to die. But are we allowing ourselves to live? And it's about the money talk, the conversation. Try this on for size. Hey, Ma, when you croak, what am I going to get? Oh, my God. That's terrible. That's icky, sticky, disgusting. No one wants to have that conversation. So they don't. And then they end up with siblings hating each other when mom and dad are gone. Family disputes everywhere. Divorce is happening. What if instead we change slightly the language and we said, hey, mom, you've lived so beautifully. Your values are so sincere. They run so deep. You've done so much for us. How can we step in to do for you and for others for today and every tomorrow? Does that hit different? Can't hear you, Malpo. That hits different, right? So my friends, I want you all to remember that the equation to your bliss is money plus love we go through our business, our legal, our investments in insurance, our strategy, our succession and stewardship. If you do that, you will be ahead of 90% of the population so that you can live a healthy, happy, wealthy, prosperous, and of course, blissful life. And with that, I will quote another fabulous New York Jewish woman. Thank you and good night. <laughs>